Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update from an Inkscape developer. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer who develops things that users of Inkscape need through my Patreon cam campaign. First of all, I want to give a big shout, shout out to all of my uh, Patreon supporters uh, who continue to help me to help Inkscape um, get better and better for everybody. If you would like to subscribe, please, please do. The, the more help that we can get, um, even small amounts, we can make this thing sustainable. So what did we get up to this week? So uh, first of all, a um, couple of website edits just to get them out of the way. Uh, a, a bug in the categories that basically duplicated categories when editing resources. Uh, this is when you upload artwork to, to Inkscape. Uh, and the other thing is that the About Screen contest um, last year, I changed the way the website com commenting system worked because we were getting too, too much spam. And I made it so that you had to post in the forums before you could comment on a resource. Uh, this makes sense in theory because the forums have a good moderation team, whereas the commenting on re resources has no moderation team at all. Um, but it means that you can't comment on uh, the About Screen con contest entries like you did in the past. Um, but silly me, I blocked people who uploaded the artworks themselves. So, like, you couldn't reply to Tim, who's running the con contest, <laughs> in context. And I was getting messages as the website administrator from users basically saying, hey, I've, I've uploaded a, a new version or I've corrected the mistakes and stuff. Uh, and that was clearly a symptom of this spam protection that was a bit too uh, egregious. So I've dialed that back. Um... I did a, a session for the GTK Inspector again. So this is where you can use a tool called GTK Inspector to create themes. If anybody has ever done HTML work where they use Firefox or Chrome's uh, de developer tools, uh, this is a bit like that, but for, for, for GTK themes. Um, we had a contributor who, who wanted to create a, an even more compact and maybe even more Illustrator-like theme for Inkscape. So I walked them through how to use the tools um, you know, over Big Blue Button. Uh, I can't wait to see what they what, what they come up with. Um, the big feature this week that I managed to do uh, was contracted to add a, but it's not actually big. It's it's a relatively small addition. Um, it's a feature to add. Uh, a the, to to the text shaping. So when you flow text into a frame, um, there is a feature in Inkscape. It, it already exists, which allows you to set the padding on those frames, so that the text, uh, you know, basically comes in a bit a bit from from the actual shape that you're trying to flow into. Uh, but it's not accessible through the user interface, um, which makes it a problem. So. Um, my client wanted to basically add a knot that allowed you to uh, change the padding. And so what I've done is I've added a, uh, a simple knot that changes the padding val value when you have a flowed piece of text. I also cleaned up uh, so some other code as well uh, to make it easier to add knots in the f future. Um, there is actually two other extra fe features which are also not available in the user interface yet, uh, which I've not been contracted to, to do anything about yet, but I'm hoping that somebody uh, would be interested to develop these further. They are the uh, the shape subtract that allows you to pop a shape out of the flowed text, right? So that the text will, will avoid the, the object. And the other is the shape margin, which is related to that. It basically allows you to set how far away from the popped out shape your, your text should avoid. Um, I think those would be relatively easy to add. Uh, two slightly different things, but uh, to, together they'd actually make the text tool a lot more powerful. Um, now these features won't appear until probably the next version of Inkscape after the next release, uh, because we're in feature freeze. So uh, if you're interested in having a look at these features, you you're welcome to download the the um, like developer builds and, and give them a try. Uh, and if anybody's interested in a custom build of Inkscape, I can probably put put that together for you as well. Um, apart from feature-wise, uh, we have a whole bunch of fixes. So there's a gradient style crash that I fixed, a uh, filter, <laughs> pasting filters, uh, which basically meant that when you when you 
copied and pasted a style with a with a blur on it every single object that you created after that would have a blur on it which uh is not supposed to be the way it works so i removed that uh there was a command line opacity bug when you tried to export using the command line uh, and set the opacity to zero it would make it black that's not good uh and this this particular issue it, it just boggles my mind so um uh if you pasted a style with a marker in it, so like it had an arrow onto a rectangle, only a rectangle, not a circle, not anything else, just just rectangles. Every single rectangle you created would have a marker, right? And the best part is is that you would be unable to set the marker in the in the in the fill and stroke note dialog, right? So I had a look in the code to figure out like what was going on, and it was literally a piece of code that said if it's a rectangle do not allow you to set the mark, 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 mark markers with a comment that basically says we don't support mark markers on rectangles, which is clearly not the case. And so <laughs> in order to figure out whether it was safe to remove, I had to look, go through all of the history of Inkscape all the way back, uh, year after year after year after year, every time this piece of code had been modified. And I figured out it's it's ancient. It comes from like 2006, probably below, before then. Uh <laughs> And so it's like, it, archaeologically speaking, this is ancient code that pr probably doesn't apply anymore, right? It, it probably is just a, a, th a thing somebody put, put in back when Inkscape didn't support mar markers on rectangles. But nobody wanted to touch it because in the code there was a comment, and the comment explained why this check was there. And like, over the past probably 10 years or so, this, this piece of code could have been fixed. But I think that uh, with the comment the Developers were probably reluctant to change it because they probably didn't understand the history. Um, big props to tools like Git that allow us to track our history back for two decades um, because it's really important to be able to figure out what the original developers' intentions were and whether it's safe to change things. Um, so yeah, there's a little back background into the development. Um, Please let me know uh, what you've been up to this week, whether you're entering the About Screen con 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 contest. I believe there's a, a one, one week left. There's some amazing en entries coming in this week. Um, like, subscribe, please share these videos. And uh, thank you very much for, for listening th this week.